Hey, what's up, guys? You got Junior DeSantos versus Cain Velasquez 2. I'm not exactly sure when this fight's happening, but I know uh, they're giving Cain the rematch, and I actually think it was a fluke, to be honest, because Cain Velasquez was out with an injury for almost a year and a half. And uh, if you look at all the fights before this, Cain Velasquez has destroyed. And I think Cain Velasquez has the ability to take him down and brutally ground and pound him. I don't think uh, it's going to go the way it did in the first fight. I honestly don't think Cain Velasquez is going to get clipped in the, like, the first minute and get knocked out. I think Cain Velasquez has very great boxing. He's very good cardio. Very good ground and pound. You see what he did to Big Silva, fuck Big Silva up, made him look disgustingly, busting him up with an elbow. But you can't hold anything against Junior DeSantos. But to be honest, um, like I've said this in the past, and I'll say it again, it's not a boxing match. Junior DeSantos just goes out there and boxes a lot. And I think the more well-rounded fighter in Cain Velasquez is going to beat Junior DeSantos. I think Junior DeSantos has great boxing. we never seen him on his back. Supposedly has really great takedown defense because Shane Carwin couldn't take him down. But Shane Carwin is not the athlete that Cain Velasquez is. Cain Velasquez is a beast who shoot in very uh, powerful double, shoot in, and take him to the ground. And if he can't take him to the ground, then it's going to be a long night for Cain. But I see Cain being able to take it to the ground. And the only reason why I say it was a fluke is because... The dude hasn't fought in like a year, year and a half, and he had an injury, and when he came back from his injury, that's when um, he got clipped once and got rocked. And to be honest, if, if it would have been a fight where he wasn't injured and he just came off his title fight, I think Kane would have won that fight because Kane, to me, is a better real-rounder fighter. He seems more aggressive than... Because um, he, he's the type of guy, to be honest, when... When, um, let's say his boxing ain't working, he shoots and takes it to the ground. And, Cain Velasquez had beaten Noguera, knocked Noguera out. Um, he beaten Chet Congo. He's beaten the top, top level of guys. Junior DeSantos has beaten a lot of guys. Frank Mir, Mirko Krokop, Big Country. So, this is going to be a hell of a fight. I can't wait for him. Junior DeSantos is a very technical striker. That's pretty much all I can say. He has very good cardio, very good combos. You see the combo he ran against um, Junior DeSantos, ran against Stefan Struve, and been big country. Those were dominating. Uh, those are like professional boxing uh, combos. But anyways, love to hear what you guys got to say in the comments below. You think Cain Velasquez is going to win the championship, or is it going to be... A Cain or a Cain Velasquez getting his ass beat by Junior DeSantos. So please rate, comment, and subscribe, and let me know if you think Junior DeSantos is still going to be the heavyweight champion of the UFC.